I, I, I'm a big fan of, of um, the Vipers. I'm a big fan of the D League. I think it's great for young players to be able to come down and play. I think it helps us. It helps the team. It helps the Vipers. It helps the Rockets. And it helps the players. So it's a win-win-win. Um, years ago, you had to cut guys to get them down into developmental leagues, and then everybody would see them play. But now to be able to hold, retain their rights, especially putting first-round rookies down here like we did with Marcus Morris, helps them get time, helps them get away from uh, not playing and you know, they get their mind back on playing and being focused. And so I, I tell you what, I think, I think, it's, a, I think it's a great um, I think it's great for both the NBA and the and the D League, and I'm just glad that the Rockets are big believers in it and use it quite often. Yeah. Uh, the developmental part of it, uh, it works. Does it work different for guards than it does for big guys? I mean, Marcus Morris obviously, and Greg Smith was down. Uh, you got him from the Vipers, uh, and then you've got the guard, the different guards like Jermaine Taylor and who go places. Is, is there a different style of development for? Because it seems like there's a lot more scoring and a lot more up tempo uh, in the developmental league than maybe there is in the NBA. Well, the Size is always a big difference. It's hard. To, it's hard to take a take a young big and put him in the D League and say, okay, you're going to go against seven foot guys every single night because, our, you know, believe me, the NBA is running out of seven foot guys that can play. So it's a little bit different. But but again, it's, it's playing. It's uh, getting your feet wet. You still got to go out and rebound. Patrick Patterson was came down two years ago and really put up some big numbers rebounding wise and stuff like that. And I think that kind of jump started his. Uh, Jump started his season again, his rookie year when he got back up with the Rockets. Uh, Coach Nurse, and you, what kind of uh, dialogue did you have during the season, especially when like Marcus Morris was down? Were, were there things that uh, that you asked him to work on specifically with guys? Well, Nick came up at the end of the season, got a chance to know him better, but mostly I put that in charge of Chris because uh, uh, Chris Finch had been down here, so I said, Chris, make sure that these are the things that we want uh, Marcus doing, and and um, you know talk to Nick, and so it was a. Uh, th those guys were close from their from their time down here, so we kind of use use that. So I really only got to know uh, Nick at the end of the year when he came up, and, and he spent some time with us up in up in Houston, which was great. With Chris and Nick spending the summer in uh, London and uh, coaching the Great Britain team in the 2012 Olympics, what does that do for them? That kind of experience that you get, uh, you know, seeing all these foreign players and, and and playing international basketball, which you know is a very different style. Yeah, it's, I think it's good. I think you're exposed to basketball. I think anytime you're exposed to different styles, it helps you. I think that um, it's a uh, it's just good experience. I, I think they get a chance to see foreign guys. I think I know when you get to the NBA level, when you start talking about foreign guys, you know, Chris Chris has coached against a lot of them. He's got experience because he's doing that. So all those experiences help in the NBA, which is a completely international league. Uh, finally, uh, talk a little bit about the NBA playoffs that are going now, and specifically the Spurs and the and the, the compressed season that you guys had. You know, with the Rockets, you you got to see it. You got to give guys time off. Have you seen something different in the way Greg Popovich, just named NBA Coach of the Year, was able to handle his older guys? I mean, Tim Duncan right now, and, and the way he looks now, as opposed to the way he was able to look, you know, in, in playoffs past. Have you seen uh, that uh, Popovich's style is is making his team maybe fresher at this point? Yeah, I think I think Greg did a great job. Coach Popovich is a great coach, Coach of the Year, well deserved. I think he did a great job with his guys, um, giving them rest when they needed it. I think Timmy looks more fresh right now. They did last year. I was doing the games for TNT, and I did the um, Spurs uh, Memphis series. And and Tim looked really old to be truthful during that series. He looks fresh right now. I think the Spurs have a great chance. Uh, the key with them, they got to stay healthy. They can't afford uh, to either have Manu Ginobili or Tim Duncan or Tony Parker get dinged up at all because those three guys are going to close games for them. They're going to be in close games in the playoffs, and they've 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 had a history of winning a ton of close games with three guys that all close well. But they can't afford any of those guys to get dinged up. And so, you know, I think they have a standing good chance if they stay healthy.